Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome to episode 707 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. This is a show about feedback after the interview and not hearing back and what you should do. It's a common problem, unfortunately, but it is the way of the world and I want to get you ready for how to handle it. Hope you find the show helpful, and now let's get going. And the question is, I haven't heard back from anyone after my interview. Should I email the recruiter or my interviewer? What are some tips in order to hear back after I email either one of them? Now, here's one observation. I don't know how recently you did the interview. If you did it today and you haven't heard at 4 o'clock, well, it may just be too soon for them to get feedback. Also, I don't know what kind of recruiter this is. Are you talking about a corporate recruiter, third-party recruiter? I'm going to try and address a lot of these contingencies with my answer. But in the meantime, let's let's work on, on this uh, question. I haven't heard back from anyone. You obviously want to hear back. Here's the easiest way to hear back. Knock their socks off. Blow everyone else out of the water. Impress the heck out of them so they go, oh, Oh, we cannot let this person leave our offices. We cannot let them leave our domicile without an offer. Now, this obviously didn't happen. So let's go on to the next scenario. Should I email the recruiter or my interviewer? Well, let's look at recruiter. Corporate recruiter, third-party recruiter. If you're introduced by a third-party recruiter, definitely you contact them, not the interviewer. If it's a corporate recruiter, depends on what the initial introduction was. Uh, if you were introduced by someone within the firm uh, and you know the first interview you did was with the hiring manager and then with the recruiter, go to the hiring manager first because you were introduced by someone to them. If this was just, you know, I answered an ad and they called me and it was a good interview, contact the, uh, the corporate recruiter. Uh, because they're really running point on the relationship with you. So they may not have heard anything. Now, how can you, you know, get some feedback after the interview in order to hear back? So the easiest thing to do is at the end of the last meeting that you have, get a sense of their timeline. Number one is, you know, when they say, so do you have any questions for us? You go through a series of questions and then they go, anything else? Yeah, could you give me a sense of what your timeline is for next steps? So that this way I have reasonable expectations about when I could hear from you. I know it's not cast in stone. I know it may take a couple of days longer, but if you say I'll hear from you tomorrow if it's good news and it's a week later, I know my answer. So that's one thing. Another way that you can do it is, you know, is there, you know, when they say, so is there anything else? What were your impressions of me today? Where did you perceive my strengths to be? Where could I do better? How did I compare with others that you interviewed or that you have interviewed for this role? See, you're looking for feedback and you're waiting for them to call you with feedback, which is either, mm, sorry, uh, or, uh, and there's not a lot of room in the middle. Now, every once in a while, you get a, we're not sure about this guy, which with time always turns into a, mm. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways that you can connect with me. The first one, of course, is reach out to me on LinkedIn. My page there is linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love to hear from my listeners. It just puts a big smile on my face. Next, if you're an executive and interested in my coaching you, email me at jeffalpin at thebiggamehunter.us. Mention in the subject line that you're interested in coaching. I'll reach back to you. We'll set up a time to speak. We'll figure out whether this makes sense. I want to be clear. I'm not here to be your recruiter. I no longer do search work. I'm a coach helping people find their next position. And as such, my work is not free. I'm not doing this as a charitable endeavor. 
I'm here to see whether I can help you and whether your background is something where I can be of service. And if you're not an executive, the best place to connect with me is with JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's my site where I've curated information that I've created and other people have created. It's there with their permission, of course. And you can ask me questions. So right now there's over 400 pieces of content there, plus the ability to ask me questions. So again, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com is that site. And by the way, and I haven't really mentioned this on the site, in addition to doing job search coaching, I also do executive coaching and life coaching. And I've done so for years. So if you're interested in that, message me again at my email address, Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us. Tell me about what you're interested in, and I'll get back to you, and we'll talk about it. Hope you found this helpful, and in the meantime, have a great day. Take care.